I'm gonna show you the most delicious one pound wonder pasta with sweet corn, tuna, chili, parmesan. It's some classic flavors for quite a lot of you students out there. It's utterly delicious. It happens in one pan in no time at all. And it's one of my recipes from a chapter in my brand new book, One which is full of one pound wonders. Yep, you got it, it's all done in one pan. So not much washing up, but definitely loads of flavor. So it all starts in one nice large pan on a medium high heat. Uh, I'm gonna use tuna, sweet corn, parsley. We're gonna use fresh pasta. Now you can get this in the supermarkets, it's fresh lasagna. This is the key to speed and creativity. You're gonna love it, okay? So in this pan as it gets warm, Often when you get tin tuna, if it's in oil, you'll have a little bit of oil. So we'll put that into the pan, just a little bit, right? And then in there, we'll add some chili. So half a chili, I'm gonna finely slice, or you can roughly chop, whatever you want, and get that into that lovely flavored oil. So we don't wanna waste that oil, do we? Because it's full of flavor. So in it goes, like that, and we'll start to fry that. Then I've got the parsley. I only need a small little handful, like this, uh, and I'm gonna think of it in two parts. I've got the stalk part that normally people throw away, not today. We'll finely slice the stalks because they're really sweet and irony and delicious. And they're perfect to fry alongside the chili. So this, just sweep it onto your knife. We go into the oil like that. Look at the colors, look at the colors. So just slice up your pasta into like one centimeter slices. Uh, you can go thinner if you want to, fatter if you want to make pappardelle and things like that. You can be really creative, absolutely beautiful. So as that oil fries the parsley, I'm going to take half a red onion and just finely slice it. So these are classic flavours. This is not an Italian pasta dish. There's no surprise there, right? These are the classic flavours of the panini, right? And we've all had it. The toasty sandwich with cheddar cheese, tuna, sweet corn, onion, utterly delicious. So I'm just gonna bring them together in a slightly different way. So the onions are softening up in that lovely tuna oil with the chili and the parsley. Um, at this point in the story, I'm gonna go in with a little handful of frozen sweet corn. Now it could be tin sweet corn, but I think the frozen one is really, really helpful. Just a handful goes in like that. The great thing about frozen sweet corn is you can just take what you want and then put it back in the freezer. You waste nothing. So I'm just gonna go in with a couple of chunks of tuna, about 40 grams. Now, the good news is this tastes great with whatever tuna you get. But of course, you know, this is quite a nice little quick dish. You know, to have that lovely jar of tuna is utterly delicious. So look, we got it all going on here. It's half done. We now go in, this is where the technique changes. Instead of having a separate pan for boiling and cooking pasta, we're gonna go in with our hand cut lasagna sheets. Now you can be really creative with that and go fatter or thinner, depending on what you like. This fresh pasta only takes like three minutes to cook. So we go in with just enough boiling water to cover the pasta, like that. And magic things will now happen. We go in with the parsley, we put it onto full whack, and this lovely pasta will start to absorb the boiling water, but also suck up the flavor of the tuna, the oil. So what's genius about this technique is it's perfect for busy people that love delicious food, that haven't got much time and hate washing up, okay? And what's brilliant is you're looking for that little moment where the pasta's absorbed just enough of the water to create a lovely natural sauce, and then we're done, and it's under 10 minutes. If you want to, you can break the tuna up into little bits. This dish is ready. I'll take it off the heat now. So now I'll take some Parmesan. Try buying fresh Parmesan, my Lord, it's really delicious. A nice little grating goes in. Just drag it into the pan. This is enough for one person. You can do it for two, but it's really convenient for doing as a portion at a time, I think. It's so quick, utterly delicious. And if you want to, just a little squeeze of lemon on top for me with the chili and the parmesan is the perfect ending to this little story and i finish with a little swipe of parmesan look at that so there you go student pasta but not as you know it it's silky and elegant look, 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 look. just twiddle it up mm. the parmesan the lemon the little pops of sweetness that you get from sweet corn, whether it's frozen or tinned, it doesn't matter. 
The tuna has that kind of savouriness. It's a beautiful fish. And try and search out the better quality tuna. So there you go, lovely people. One pan, one book, and one fantastic version of a student staple. Happy days.